welcome again students today we will discuss the last part of clb method but if you still not went through the previous one then kindly go through those videos part 1 and part 2 links are in the description below today we discuss about these three points in detail and today's interesting thing is why muller took x-ray for his experiment so to know this please go through the whole video so the question is why Muller took only the male Drosophila but here he took both Drosophila both male and female. The female is treated with CLB chromosome. We knew it from previous video that one is X chromosome and other one is CLB X chromosome. Muller took male Drosophila to cross over. Okay look this technique is CLB technique or method. If CLB is treated in female, then what's the need of male? Its need is to cross over because a female can't or a female don't cross over. They have the X chromosome and carrying the special CLB chromosome that the X chromosome chromatids do not cross over. So he took male Drosophila for his experiment by treating them with X-ray because he has to prove with the in induced mutation. Uh, so in male you can see they have the x dash chromosome it means the x-ray treated chromosome and a y chromosome it is always in a inverse shape don't think that it's a bimestically done okay this is one of the symbol this is the cross through which muller proved his experiment so he introduced a drosophila male with x-ray and a drosophila female with clb chromosome and allowed them for mating so after their mating four progenies are produced these are the gametes produced from these two and after this after the crossing these four progenies are found in first cross okay from those four progenies three are rejected because clb is only here and clb male is died because clb male here the clb chromosome is and this is the y chromosome so it is the hemizygosity here produced the hemizygosity so this is died and these two are rejected so now he took this to the second cross with the wild variety of drosophila so parent is the clb uh, female and the wild type variety of drosophila here what happened again four progenies are produced and the clb male is again died but the female two female are there and one male is here so the result of female is to male is one is to two if the result is female is to male then it is 2 is to 1 ok so what was here the male flies are irradiated with x-ray and mated with CLB females and four types of offspring are produced and in the second cross or the second mating all the male progenies are died why this is happened in case of irradiated X chromosome had no induced lethal mutation the progeny of second type mating will be male and female is 1 is to 2 ok so if the result is CLB and Y means the CLB male it is dead because hemizygosity for the lethal allele here the it's the lethal allele so it is produced the hemizygosity this is not homo this is the hemizygosity condition but females are not died these are the females they are not died not in uh, second cross and not in first cross female are alive but male are died be female are not die because the chromosome can be maintained in heterozygous the the these chromosome are maintained in heterozygous 
if it is clb y means it is a male it died because it is only producing the hemizygosity condition but female are not died because these are maintaining their characters clb here also here also these are the heterozygous condition and maintaining their heterozygosity so the female not die only male are die here the male is here the male dies only if the mutation is lethal if the mutation is gone wrong or lethal then it may die otherwise it alive now the question is why muller took only the x rays we know before uh, i have told also that uh, radiations are two types ionizing and non ionizing ionizing radiations are x rays and gamma rays and non ionizing radiations are the uv light so why he took only the x ray why don't a uh, uv light because the the x ray is only the ray that produce ions look here the difference between x ray and uv light so uv light has a lower energy than x ray and obvious x ray is the high energy penetrate uh, ray because it is the ionizing ray and uv light is the non ionizing radiation and uh, x ray can collide with atoms at it can uh, attack molecules like dna and produces ions so muller took the x ray for the mutagenic effects of ionization radiation remember the induced mutation if you don't then go through the previous lecture video links are in my description below through this mutation induction he took the male uh, drosophila by treating with x ray to prove the mutagenic effects so every time it seems like the um, male drosophila are always dying but the females are not so the question is females are don't die or the females never die in this uh, cross or in this uh, method so to know the answer here some conditions are where it's uh, it show that if the male progeny have the clb and y chromosome then it dies but if the female have the clb chromosome then it don't die they are alive because they have the x chromosome but here they are found heterozygous so they are alive but in case if they have the clb and l chromosome then only the female will die and here l represents the lethal mutant gene in case if they have the lethal gene then you know better that 0% survival right that they will die if they have the condition if they um, prove the condition that they have the clb and y chromosome sorry clb and l chromosome so clb method is completed here hope you understand well we discussed it in so detail clear your doubts in comment section below and if you really get benefited through these lectures then do like share and subscribe my channel